Unsuspecting passengers riding the rails in Israel are getting an earful of science thanks to a new program sponsored by Hebrew University. Israel 21 C's Nitsana Bellison met a few scientists who are turning boring commutes into learning opportunities. This year, Israelis who opt to use the train are getting more than just a ride. They are getting an education. Thanks to an initiative of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and Israel Railways, train passengers are treated to a lecture by some of the university's most prominent professors. The public is really interesting to see the reaction, to see the, the fact that they are interested in what we're doing. Scientists on the Train is a monthly series developed this year by the Hebrew University. They set themselves up in one of the cars and passengers are invited to join for free. One of the scientists on the Train programs was dedicated to Mark Einstein's birthday on March 14th, which in Israel is National Science Day. David Ben-Gurion offered the presidency to Albert Einstein in 1952, the presidency of Israel, which he regretfully rejected. The program included a lecture about Einstein's contribution to humanity, as well as other lectures chosen for their interest to the public, physics experiments in motion, and the development of cherry tomatoes by the scientists who developed them. The lecture series is designed to bring the public closer to the university and give them an opportunity to open their minds to new ideas. I thought it was interesting because it taught me a lot of things I didn't know. It was weird but good. They take some message what university, what science can do for them and wait a minute, they do something there in the ivory towers. It's not, a, it's not only just this uh, uh, absent-minded professors who speak about things that we don't understand. The Scientists on the Train series is a unique way to reach out to the public and allow them to experience firsthand the benefits of research and education. This is Nitsana Bellison from Israel 21C for CNN.